Welcome to instruction video 9. In this video, I will demonstrate the NextGen Connect software, which allows you to connect your Eliminator NextGen to a computer. NextGen Connect is compatible with Windows XP, Vista, 7, 8, and 10. NextGen Connect is available for download at www.portatree.com. Simply navigate to the Eliminator NextGen product page and scroll down to the instructions area. It is listed for download with the instructions. Once you download and unzip the file, double-click setup.exe and NextGen Connect will install on your computer. In order to connect the NextGen to a computer, you're also going to need a Type-A to Type-B USB cable. They're pretty easy to find. I bought mine from monoprice.com, part number 5437, for about a dollar. To connect to the computer, Open NextGen Connect. Make sure the NextGen is in the main menu screen and then click the Connect button. If the connection is successful, the box in the top left of the program should turn green and say Connected. The two most common reasons for failing to connect are 1. That the NextGen was not in the main menu. If you're in the practice mode, a little error box is going to come up on the computer that says Error Connecting to Eliminator. Just bring the NextGen back to the main menu screen and press the connect button again and it should connect right up for you. The second most common reason is that the computer cannot detect the communication port that the Eliminator is connected to. When this happens, open Device Manager on your computer and look at Ports, COM, and LPT. The Eliminator should be listed as a Communication Device Class device. Make a note of the port the Eliminator is connected to, and then in the NextGen Connect software, open Setup and type in this number. Save the port change and click Connect. You should be able to connect immediately. When you connect to the Eliminator, the screen will turn white and read, Computer Connected, Do Not Disconnect. The computer is now controlling the NextGen. At any time, you can click Disconnect to disconnect from the NextGen. My favorite feature of the NextGen Connect software is the ability to upload a personal image to the NextGen. This picture will display every time the NextGen starts. To choose an image to upload, click the Load button in the upper right corner of the screen. Find the picture you want to use and click Open. When you're sure you have the right picture, click Send to send it to the Eliminator. A little progress bar will appear under the image and image transfer in progress will display on the NextGen. Once the image transfer is complete, you can click display to view the image on the NextGen. The delete button will remove the image from the NextGen. The clear button will remove the image from the NextGen Connect software. In addition to sending images, you can also download save statistics files from the NextGen. Simply click the Load button in the lower left corner of the NextGen Connect software. All statistics files saved on the NextGen will be transferred to the computer. If you accidentally named a file on the NextGen the same as an existing file on the computer, you don't have to worry. The NextGen Connect software will automatically rename the file with a dash one or dash two at the end. The Delete button will delete all the statistics files stored on the NextGen. To view a statistics file, simply click the file name and the contents of the file will display. The export button allows you to convert a statistics file to a CSV file, which can be viewed in Microsoft Excel. Overlay allows you to compare two statistics files. To use Overlay, you must have one file open. Click Overlay and then select the second file that you would like to compare. Thanks for watching the Eliminator NextGen Computer Connection video. Check out www.portatree.com for more videos on the Eliminator NextGen.